there was just so much energy just a second ago, and it it frightened me. I am very timid. It's true. Yeah, I mean, if there's one thing that I know about Bear is that he is a very uh, timid man. Well, please don't say that about me. <laughs> I will free you from the yolk of uh, having to be on the channel then, and I will hang uh, up on yolk, you. Yolk, because he's egg. <laughs> but, but not before... Not before saying thank you for being here. <laughs> thanks, thanks for being here. Ah, thanks, thanks for having me on. It was a lot of fun. Oh, there you go. and thank you for being here. Uh, oh, okay. okay, I hung up on them. It was fun having them. We're gonna be live for another two hours. We're getting the opportunity to check out a new hardcore tactical roguelite inspired by Darkest Dungeon. But what if instead of uh, being the dungeoneers, you were the monsters trying to take over and corrupt? The Hamlets. Game is known as Erratus, Lord of the Dead. Unfortunately, I have to use the bathroom first. And then I gotta come back and I'm gonna make a tweet. Don't go anywhere. As comeuppance, I'm gonna hit you with a little bit of uh, Lonely Trout Man. A song I only bust out for the most... Important circumstances. Let the song play. It's an any percent speed run while I change my metadata and send out a tweet. I think actually the song will beat me. But I'm trying. You gotta grab this. You gotta grab this. You click on this. You go here. Don't distract me! I need... <laughs> I need to focus. I need to focus, okay? I need to focus. I'm sorry, the song is too hype. I need to focus, okay? I'm just messing with you. I will start playing it again. But here's the thing. It's a classic problem. I'm supposed to tweet. And there's a tracking link. But the tracking link was located in the document that I've already signed. So I go, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open the document. Only you can't open the document because you've already signed it. They won't let you give it a second crack at it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a tweet. And we can compose the tweet together, okay? It is... 
Staying live to check out Erratus. Lord of the Dead. Come check it out. It's a hardcore tactical roguelite inspired by some channel favorites. Thanks to for sponsoring the stream. Smiley face, hashtag sponsored. My link, and then you always gotta hit him with the hashtag sponsored. I'm gonna, I looked at my friend Bear Taffy's link. I'm gonna hope that it's the same thing, but with my name instead of his. It is. I'm probably the smartest person I know. And check it out on Steam. And then you hit him with a right there. <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. Only unfortunately, I've done it wrong. And this is this is not where this is not a good start. Here you go, I'm gonna hit you really quickly with a redo on that one. That's what copy and paste exists for. You're witnessing a man dying on camera here. I'm not going to hit you. I'm hitting you with more entertainment. It's a thing we talk about in the business, okay? It's going to be a little... bit.ly slash erratus Northern Lion. And it totally works. Because of course it does. Now, somehow, I'm two characters over the limit. You send the tweet. You check the link. It's working. You go to the metadata on Twitch and you go, checking out Erratus, Lord of the Dead, sponsored. And then you change your game title to Erratus, Lord of the Dead. Then you go to chat and you go, hey chat, check out Erratus. And then you put the link in there. Don't type. When you type, it pushes it out of the window. It just came out today. Thanks to Dynalic for the sponsorship. Stop typing, okay? When you type, it I don't know if you know this, but it pushes the stuff. It pushes my important message up and out of the frame. I need you to stop talking. I know you're so entertained. You always want to type your lols and your lamaus and your forehead and your poggers. But for once, I need you to fight every instinct life. in your body. Life is a disease. This is not the belief a of me, the streamer. Ago, it's a supreme necromancer. It's the game the itself. Conquering the world. Views do not represent the views of my employer. You know what they say about best laid plans. Inevitably, heroes shall emerge. So, I was made dead. Again. But what does death really mean for somebody who has mastered it? Hmm? Boredom. An eternity to ponder my errors and how close I came to victory. I am a mortal, Red Skull. but when this world ends, even I will know oblivion. Oh, 
Unless... Minecraft Steve? And so, I ask myself, will I be given another chance to rise before it happens? Another chance to fulfill my ambition? I mean, the key was under the mat. Ah, it seems that didn't have to waste a perfectly good lock. And that's it, Erratus, Lord of the Dead. Here's a disclaimer for you. Erratus is a hardcore tactical roguelite. Your minions will likely die. Every fight is a challenge. Enemies are strong and show no mercy. Be prepared to spend several hours mastering the game to achieve victory and bring death to the mortal lands. This is for average gamers. They're not real platinum gods. They've never beaten Ascension 20 with any character, much less uh, every character. They've never uh, defeated Radiant Mode of Darkest Dungeon. Yo, by the way, Witchet, another classic. Not what we're doing the sponsorship for, but that's another beautiful game right there. Okay, uh, well, we'll start with the tutorial, of course. You'll learn, I'll learn, and it'll be a beautiful situation. So I do need to say that right out of the gate, it's openly inspired by Darkest Dungeon. This is not a fast follow situation, it's a labor of love. Minion abilities. Each minion has five basic abilities and one ultimate ability. To use an ultimate ability, you need Wrath. Minions and enemies can use certain abilities only from specific positions and with specific ranges. Okay. Remember, corporeal, flesh-based units, not us. Norman Reedus, not us. Skeleton Lord, that's us. Unassuming Strike. Does 14 to 15 physical damage, ignores armor, and then smite. Physical attack attacks twice, does 8 to 10 per attack. 14 to 15, 8 to 10. Times 2. You know what? We're using our S ability. Send them. Damage. Physical and magical damage reduces the target's vigor. Igniting a target will deal magical damage multiple times over the course of a few turns. Stress damage decreases sanity. Cursing a target will deal stress damage multiple times. Okay, cursing is igniting, but for stress. And critical hits decrease enemy sanity. Enemy critical hits will increase it. I'm familiar. Stress attack deals 75, 14 to 16 stress damage. Moves the target to a random position. Okay. Or deals 30%, 6 to 6 damage. All enemies lose for attack. And it hits all enemies? Okay, well, you know what? AoE stress send. <laughs> Your cries are music to me. Loss of sanity. Leads to either insanity. Loss of sanity leads to insanity, I should say. Inspiration, death, or flee. You can't hit a ghost. You need, uh. You need a transient curse. One damage, or eye damage, which would be substantially worse. Okay, you're gonna die to physical damage, I'm telling you that right now. And then, honestly, I'm not too worried about you. I'm gonna hit you with a scream attack. Send you straight to the Shadow Realm. What do you think, brother? You're hitting a ghost. What was your game plan here? Oh, so this must use... Or maybe I can't use it because I'm not in the... I'm not in the 2-3 position. I gotta hit you with the screen. Help me. Trail. Negative 75... Well, not negative. I think it's just a dash. 75% chance to attack an ally. Could you do me a favor? And attack yourself, please? He's already dead. <laughs> Send him. Please! 
You know, can I just... I want to pass your turn. I'd like to pass your turn instead of doing this, but... Okay. I have vaporized him with the power of my screen. Victory. Zero XP for Erratus. Insulting. Create any two minions. After gathering parts from his defeated foes, Erratus can add new minions to his army. Using parts of uncommon, rare, or legendary quality will increase the stats of the created minion. Also, there's like a like a crafting element instead of recruiting new members to your party. He can also acquire new ways of creating minions. Okay. We can make a skeleton. We need a skull, some bones, some armor, and a weapon. We can make a zombie. We need a weapon, a potion, meat. <laughs> oh, flesh. Sorry, my bad. I mean, obviously, if possible, I'd like to make Dark Knight. Christopher Nolan's second best movie after... Uh, after Memento. I had to think about it. Um, do we have armor? Of course. Do we have ectoplasm? Bruh. Do we have... Sauce. Yes, dust. And do we have weapons? Absolutely. Um, a manifestation of the living void contained in a vessel of knightly armor. I'll take two, please. I guess we can just click the fill button instead, but... but irrelevant for the armies Okay, so I'm assuming we got, you know... Dead. Dex, strength, int. What else we got here? The Bride of Erratus. Ranged unit! Psh. Why not? Give me some, uh... Give me some of each. Uh, a design from my younger years. Dude, I'll say it. Erratus is a hottie. I don't care who knows it. When they were designing this game, they were like, give me like kind of an undead, horny Jason Momoa. I understand. In fact, I'm for it. The kingdom had need of the vast riches buried underneath the castle, great veins of iron that promised to fuel conquest after conquest along with ancient artifacts from a long forgotten age. The dwarves were eager to offer their services. They needed only bodies that could obey and the humans could provide. Okay. Okay. We got methed up dwarves helping to mine out the iron. Can I, I wanna shuffle my party by the way. Obviously Dark Knight you should be in the number one position, I'm assuming. I'm assuming Mr. Skeleton, you're going to be in number two. And I'm assuming uh, Ranger, you're going to be in the back. That's just my guess, though. Some enemies possess unique features that strengthen or weaken them. We're probably still in the tutorial either way. Okay, let's see their features. You have two armor. And two, I'm assuming that's like stress armor. When the Taskmaster dies, his allies recover 30 sanity. Hmm. Streamer's not using the optimal build. I'm working on it, okay? So Skeleman is first. This this ability is unavailable in the tutorial. Uh cowards. Um Okay, let's just send man number one. Then, Bride of Erratus. Chest Piercer. Critical hit will deal 200% damage. Overwatch. Whenever an enemy moves, deal 50% physical damage to it. Seems interesting. Think of him. Bride gains plus four attack, plus four dread until battle ends. Warning shot. Tons of stress damage. Also moves people around. It moves her back three. Oh, it moves the front back one. I see. I'm just gonna go for the classic sort of DPS. If it makes me a coward, it makes me a coward, okay? All minions get plus six dread for their next action or a stress attack. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna catch you with the basic stress move, although this does move us up one. 
then you, the Death Knight. I'm waiting for- where's my cleave ability? Dark Teeth. Removes all debuffs from the Dark Knight. Not a problem. Ooh, okay, sorry, I didn't look at the feature. The chance of enemies to escape increases by 2% each turn until it reaches 20%. This skeleton is immune to all buffs and debuffs, and plus 10 luck against female enemies? That was supposed to be a cat, but it ended up being the weird kid from the vaping vine that goes, Wow. Um, well, you know what, I'll tell ya. Does 6 to 7 damage and also deals additional damage equal to 50% of the sum of Dark Knight's armor and resistance. Armor is 8, resistance is 8, so it does 8 extra damage. It does 14 to 15 damage. How much HP do you have? 13. Goodbye. One by one, life Quick vanishes from this world. And you have gone insane. Exterminate the undead. Minus 30 accuracy. How dare you. Okay. Show them their place. Interrupt stances, deals 50% damage, or smite. I mean, dude, here's the, to be honest with you, smite's been working. Just give them a send. You are dead. Ashes to ashes. Dust and the Taskmaster... Uh, you don't feel so smart now, do you? Excuse me? Armor resistance block ward. Receive physical damage. Oh, sorry, we have ward. Expand, expanded to completely nullify the next magical or stress attack. Okay, so he has two stress blockers and two physical attack blockers. Let's... I think we have more physical attacks regardless. I think we should just go for the, you know, our bread and butter. I hate getting my hands dirty. The game has just started and she's already waifu material. I'm just here to tell you. Um, word not for a sponsored stream, that's a bannable offense. I don't want to make this about the way that I choose to run my show when we might have important people watching. I just want you to know you're, if you are happy with the fact that you are not banned for that offense, you should be thanking Daedalic Entertainment right now. We'll escape at the beginning of the next turn. What if they were talking about you instead? Oh, well, thank you! You didn't have to say that. Sentiment? Another step towards my eternal kingdom. Yo, finally, we got some experience for Aratus. I mean, he's doing all the hard work here. Equip him with the acquired artifact. There are four main types of artifacts. Weapons, armor, rings, and amulets. Of course. Consumables as well. Allows Erratus to use Skullfall in combat. Ah, fetchy. Sacrificial Altar. Or... Stella. Stella! Can't you hear me? Yell, uh... Choose who will be trained. Okay? Um, XP for Erratus, XP for minions. XP for minions. Bleed purple. Erratus possesses mana and wrath. Okay, so we have like a, like an overlord aspect as well. Wrath is needed to use minions ultimate abilities, which we have not seen yet. And mana is needed to use talents. It's restored after victory, though minion abilities... Oh, through minion abilities or certain encounters on the map. Okay. I don't want to fight. Why is... She's so negative. You know, we're trying to be part of a winning team here. I think we should use Skullfall. Say hello to my burning friend. Classic. Scarface. 
Um. Hello. Okay, so we'll let them burn. Uh, and you know what? Here's what I'm thinking. Why not embrace? No, 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 no. How about? Yeah, gain plus six armor, and enemies attack the skeleton more often. Try out some of these buffs. They're stances. You got a one-turn stance or a stance till the end of combat. It's a one-turn stance. Astounding fortitude. Okay. Stress attack. What's your feature? When you die, allies recover sanity. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think. Do you have any moves that move enemies around? Because I was thinking we could do some cool setup. Like, we could have you go on Overwatch and then start smacking people around, you know, moving them in different directions. Do you have anything that moves people around? This is not... I am not on you. Hold on. Here we go. Doesn't move. Doesn't move. Doesn't move. Doesn't move. Doesn't move. Does not move. I will not go on Overwatch then. Instead... I will shoot someone we're likely to kill in a couple of turns with no armor. Restore target to full sanity. It's kind of interesting. Not that we need it at all, I think, right now, but... And then the debuff stress attack. I'm kind of getting it. She's kind of like the occultist analog from Darkest Dungeon, I think. Uh-oh, someone in chat said the next person to say Darkest Dungeon's a big poopy head. I think I was the next person to say it. Well, we already knew that. Um... Got him. I can't hit you. But I can... Hit you. I also can't carry the ring, but I can carry you, Mr. Frodo. Did he just whip HP at you? That's incredible. Okay. Honestly, my man, do the exact same thing. Astounding fortitude. Chest piercer, send him. Welcome to die. I don't know. She's the, the Banshee is not a team player. I'm not, like, very upset about it, but, like, simultaneously. Let's see what how our dread works for us. Oh, you're, you're immune. Because you're worthy. I understand. I think we should go for you first. The Banshee is for a different archetype of party. Oh! I'm rolling this classic uh, sword and board style. Yo, so this is our ult, right? The uh, the D move? Stress attack does 20 to 23 stress damage. I actually thought we could only use this once. Oh, once per turn! Once per turn! All of a sudden, it's all becoming clear. Uh, I can't. Can I not do my. Uh, I can do my double attack. You just gotta have the mana. He's gonna burn. Absolutely. Guaranteed. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't stack. That's right. Gives Aratus mana equal to 30% of the restored sanity. So we can actually use sanity uh, from, like, we can buff enemies to give us mana. It's kind of an interesting mechanic, especially if we can kill them on the next turn anyway. This one voided its bowels just as it died. All right, well, that's disgusting. I don't play video games to be disgusted. 
I play them because they're power fantasies. Everything else is just a bonus. As your suffering ends, your service begins. Easy. Winning battles rewards Eratus with experience that increases his level. At each level, he receives talent points. So there's a tech tree as well, or an ability tree. Alchemy increases the efficiency of your minions and resource economy. Magic spells weaken foes. Ire spells strengthen minions. Destruction deals direct damage. Okay. To be honest, I'm kind of a destruction man, but let's see what we got in buffs. Every time a minion misses, Aratus gains Wrath. Chosen minion loses luck but gains attack and dread. Minion gains plus two initiative, which I'm assuming is like speed. All ignition effects are extended by a turn. Okay, so these are passive effects to increase basically our economy. Um, which is probably good, but not what I'm going to do in the tutorial. Moves the selected minion. Yo, okay, so I already like this. So we'll get the magic ability here that allows us to move units around, which also synergizes with the Bride of Eratus, because we can put her on Overwatch, move an enemy unit around, Bride of Eratus will get an Overwatch attack, and then she'll get 25% accuracy for an action as well. This seems interesting. It also seems like you are correct, and we can level up our units. Um... Do you just upgrade the abilities you already have? Because if so, I'm going to upgrade Overwatch. Oh, you can either make it Careful Watch. Or you can make it Deadly Watch. Get back to battle. Easiest choice of my life. Uh, and then the Banshee. Let's see. Whenever an enemy moves, the Banshee deals uh, stress damage to it. You know what? Ignores ward, gains block and ward. Yes. My enemies are I in love for it. A nasty we got little tooltips that help us out as well. Mystic Fortitude, you gain more armor, okay? Or strikes back when attacked. Now, prove Yo, I'm digging the synergy so far. My investment. Damage or extra crit chance, I'm assuming. Uh, armor or damage, accuracy. Or Dread? No, just more stress. Oh, Erratus gains mana. Or Erratus gains Wrath. I don't know, I kind of think you should just do more damage. I kind of think your damage sort of is not great right now, and I need I you to start doing more of it. Results. To start combat, open the map. I'm also going to Alt-Tab and kick Robert out of my squad stream. I'm sorry, Robert. It's a one-man show. I don't like to share the spotlight. Fountain of Restoration. <laughs> refill mana or refill HP on minions? Definitely HP on minions. And then this is battle. I'm just trying to see where we're going. Mystical chest. Grave. Oh my lord, dude. Boss. It's a it's a long trip. Let's go to the chest. Battle then chest. Do not attack me. I was alt tabbed temporarily. Okay. Skeletons up. We do have sort of a stress-ish build now, but I'm just having I'm just having a fun time. Just messing with what's going on here first. Do I not what happened to my fire ability? I guess it's a one-time use. Um Just trying to think about how I want to do this. Let's go stance. This appears to be the work of an enemy stance. Try to play you like a man-at-arms a little bit. Then the Dark Knight. You're here essentially just to attack. 
Don't attack the unit with armor. That man's got a lot of HP. You are here to... Oh, I can't use my no move back here. That's okay. You are here... Mana cost is six. It's very easy. You know what? Why don't you go ahead and deal a stress attack? Unless I have an attack that moves us back? I don't think so. Oh, actually, we do. Restores target to full sanity. But it doesn't do anything for us right now. So we'll start here. Hit him with a quick debuff. I thought I was, what, dead? Like my partner? You just threw off the cliff? Debuff. Minus 30 accuracy. Not a problem. Send him. Thank you. Savor these last few heartbeats. Okay, you. Overwatch. Now... Move a unit. I would like... The weak unit to move. Yeah, yeah. Moves the selected minion two positions forward. Yeah. It only works on my own minions, doesn't it? Well, my whole strategy has fallen apart. As a considerable problem. My whole plan was to move the other minions and then pew pew and then but it didn't work out that way okay that's all right it happens easy come easy go absolutely correct go ahead hit me. yo we have inflicted insanity we're we're immune to your crits you can debuff him all you like. He's never going to miss. Great shooting, partner. Okay. Um, what is your purple ability? I was wondering why they got healed, but maybe I, I misread the particle effect. Support. All enemies lose 12 vigor. You recover in the amount of damage received by enemies. Don't really need to use our ult right now. Um... I think I'm going to do something controversial and smack you with my large sword. Oh, enemy the enemies that crit you heal stress. That makes sense. Thank you. Um, I don't think we need to give Erratus mana, so we'll just continue AoE stress attacks with a debuff. And Bride of Erratus inflicts a guaranteed critical hit. Might not be necessary, but... My darling, kill! I'm for it. That was a little rude. Just threw a, threw a bear trap right at my feet. Yeah, thank you. At least somebody's standing up for me. Uh, and now I think we'll go for the classic little... Have our unit actually secure a kill as top priority. Okay, you continue with the AoE attack. Why can't you free me? Oh, why? Ah. Hmm. I wish that I had more damage with this guy yet again. You know, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone. That's right. She just ulted twice in a row. Your debuff... Oh my god! Your debuff is... At the start of each turn, you lose 20% of your maximum HP, but you get an extra action. I think that maybe... What's your stress level? Ah, I didn't mean to do it! I want my action back! I just wanted to click on his stress level. You 
If he stress attack middle, he might die of a heart attack. In the world. You know what? You know what? I'll give it a try. Being born. That's great advice. It just completely worked. Oh, and then they fled. Improve a minion by using a brain. Okay. Minions evolve and can be improved in multiple ways. Leveling a minion increases maximum HP. Improving an ability enhances the ability but gives bonus stats as well. Using parts of higher quality gives a minion higher stats, items as well. And a brain can instantly give a minion several levels. Okay. In order to do that, you're going to click here. And then you're going to grab one of these. And you're going to pop it in right there. Oh, he's done it. Genius. Okay, hold on. I've forgotten. I've done... Uh, it, it, it is 40 IQ. But on the other hand, she is a ghost. Nobody ever, they, they, you ever see a ghost? They're not that smart. They just float around and talk about the same thing every day. Oh, avenge my death. Uh. 40 IQ is pretty high. Please, God. Dude, I just want you to be better. Stress attack. You know, let's up. We're using the stress attack a lot. We want to lower enemy attack, or do we want to lower their evasion? I think I'd rather lower Serve their attack even well, more. My minion. Oh my god, how many, you have one extra skill point on top of that? Moves target to a random position. Dude, I was totally wrong. I we definitely have the ability to move the target to a random position. So now, finally, the dream is real. We're going to be able to use the synergy we've always wanted. Critical hits do more or paralyze enemies that get crit. Get Let's go for paralyze enemies battle. that get crit. You. Um, what are we using a lot of? This... 4% chance to immediately kill the target. Now, I love to roll the roll of dice on that. It's Mysterious Stranger. Investment. And then... Um, physical attack that moves us forward. I mean, we're not really doing anything with this guy right now. I feel like I've let the Death Knight down. Unfortunately. We can have a better stress attack... Or a stress attack that does better against buffed enemies. Serve with me one of those well, for now. my minion. Okay, and then also, I mean, obviously, I'm the Dark Knight. Skeleton. We got Mouth. Kate. Bride of Ryan. And then, you're not a Banshee. You're just like a ghost. I haven't figured out what we're going to do with you yet. You got... If you got better abilities, I got to find them. Because for you right now, I don't really know what we got going on. I'm not using you right. Enemies are more likely to drop parts. Minions with 8 initiative at the beginning of battle gain more accuracy and evasion. Or unlocks a secret ire spell. Removes all buffs from chosen minion. Restores 6 mana for each buff removed. We don't really need that right now. I'm just going to take the... Uh, I'll take the I'm going to take the easiest potential option. One that I actually understand. Okay. This is the one, dude. We're actually going to make our strat work, okay? Guaranteed. So, step one. Stress out all enemies. Yas. Yeah. Yas. Step two, you are going to tank. 
send him. This is Malph uh, versus Chad. They hit him with a little four damage attack. He stabs him in the gut for a critical hit. At the beginning of the next turn, we'll deal 195% physical damage to a random target. Okay, now you, you go on Overwatch. Screw And now we start to have a good time. Send them. The Mouth Retribution. Defensive stance. You moved. Classic mistake. Already working according to plan. Dun 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 dun. Okay. I'm thinking. Moves forward. Two positions forward. I think I'm just gonna hit you with a stress attack. 24, 21 to 24 damage. Oh no, it is me. I showed him my real face. Please respond. Good lord. Stop it! She might be useless, but that's my ghost, okay? Moves target to a random position. You gotta love it. He's gone insane, and then... Excuse me, he should get shot. Thank you. I, I got hit as well because of defensive stance. Whenever a minion moves, attack it for 100%. They've, they've learned. They've learned my strategy as well. I think we have to go for stress attack this time to try to kill this guy with a heart attack. It missed him. It missed him. Uh... Man, I wish we could get ults. I think we'll try a warning shot. That doesn't move us. It does move us, but we we don't actually move because we're at the back already. Heart attack, please. Pardon me, sir. Um, we're, we're really going heavy on the stress here. Man, we'll... He really sucks. <laughs> I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the Dark Knight. He's, he's, uh, he's really dropping the ball. This is a perfect AoE opportunity. As long as it doesn't move you. I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Yo, all enemies lose 12 vigor. It's not really that much, honestly. I'd rather save it for the, the ult from the Bride of Erratus, I think. I just want them to die to stress, but they refuse. They refuse to die to stress. I don't know, maybe I don't even want to use your ults. Like, I gotta do some physical damage. If I'm gonna kill him, but I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job with stress so far, but it's like so, Thank you. Finally. Years of evolution it, looks sanity's like. decaying on these I'm guys. Dead. They're running into trouble. Stress attack on all of them, please. Mouth. Hit him with the They're throwing freaking hay off the balcony! Close. Wants to escape. That's great news. I love to see it. Any stress is good stress. And then... AoE stress. Let's go. Finally. Yo, you got stress too. They're throwing freaking hay off the balcony? Send them. Well, they're both in a in a bad spot, but I now I wish I had your ult, but that's it is what it is. Kill the unit that's not trying to escape. Melt them. Hit him with the egg cam. I didn't think See ya. We need some HP, desperately though. Yeah, babe. 
construct a building in the graveyard. After attaining freedom, Eratus turned his prison into a base of operations. Constructing new buildings demands the sacrifice of minions and a new special resource, Architect Souls. Okay, so this is uh, analogous to the Hamlet, I suppose. The Library, the Dead Lake, the Obelisk, the Abode of Wrath, the ex Excavation for Something, the Mortuary. You know what? <laughs> Hit him with the Mortuary. Fully restores Vigor. Build, please. Oh, it requires... It requires a, a man with a pinhead. I would like to create a man with a pinhead, please. Oh, a zombie. Okay. They will be expecting cannon fodder, but I will give them cannons instead. He's really just a, like a laborer. It's not really like that. He's a genius. Oh, and then you can put somebody. Oh, I've seen this. Cold and utter silence are key in accomplishing this. Sender. Okay, and then create another unit. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Wraith, Bride of Arana, Zombie, Dark Knight, another skeleton. I feel like a skeleton's kind of the jack of all trades. 80 HP. I think we need a zombie for like physical attacks, maybe. Let's see abilities. Magic attack, okay. But we really need like a third position enemy. It's not really doesn't really seem like your your role, to be honest. Okay, you got you got some third position stuff. Honestly, I got no idea whatsoever how to use you, but let me just see. I don't think we have access to a healer of any sort. As far as I know. I think we, for Let now, maybe we just have to heal at fountains. There was no fine print. Aratus is proficient in several alchemical disciplines. Transmutation, distillation, extraction, and calcination. Alright. I am going to put two armor into Behold my work this and okay so we can we refine our existing i see we refine our existing stuff to make it higher quality and that gives buffs to the unit that we create with it convert two parts of the same type so we're doing distillation right now convert two parts of the same type and rarity to new items or convert two parts of the same type to another type And, I don't know, hold on a second here. What if we wanted to make... Well, we need more physical damage. What if we wanted to make Misericord? We would need... Uh, two weapons. Alright. Alright, I'll put down my weapon. Joke's on you, I got another freaking sword. Ah, the smell of successful alchemy. <laughs> this concludes the tutorial. You can continue this current game on Cakewalk or restart the game on the more pain difficulty. Alright, it has been a good tutorial section. Let's restart the game on the more pain difficulty. Beginners, like a challenge. I'm ready. Let's give it a try. Okay, so this must be the basic starting party. And that sounds good to me. Um... We do have access to a talent. Hmm. I was trying to think. 
I would like to rain down fire upon you again. If that's possible. We don't really have a stress focus. I think we got a physical focus. You know what? I'll tell you, Flaming Skull, it sounds cool. And something that sounds that cool can't be wrong. All right. Now we're off on our own. I'm ready. Sorry, I put my foot on my chair and then it slipped. Do not fear. Okay. At the beginning of the next turn, we'll deal 195% physical damage to a target. And I was thinking, um, can we not use the abilities of this guy to cause that to uh, get removed? I don't think so. Because that buffs are not stances, right? Stances are a different... They're a different thing. It does look like we've got... Uh, eh, is it me and my boys are gonna get you? I just need to... I need to give myself a body, but it's not... Hold on, it's not as easy as you would think. Then you gotta go. When he goes left, I go right. I'm going too fast. It's not as easy as it looks. Anyway. That's the power of modern streaming technology. <laughs> Okay. Well, we might as well light a man on fire. Um, Have a warm end, my if we get super friend. lucky, you might not even make it to your stance. And I think we're a physical damage focus, so let's do physical damage. Not a crit, I think. No big deal. That's what I got armor for. Second verse, same as the first. Okay. Oh, I love this. I can interrupt stances. But it will send me up to the front. He always misses, dude. Okay. I'm just going to do some physical attacks. It was the high end of damage there. Then you. 100% damage for next attack. Stance. If the, at the start of its next turn, the zombie attacks four times, each attack dealing 50% physical damage to a random remaining enemy. Oh. Well, that's literally the only way we can attack from the third position. So let's do it. Alright, my skeletal friend. Why don't you go ahead and light that guy on fire friend. as well? Do you have anything that moves you back? I don't believe so. Your HP is at 18. 14 to 15. Average here will be 18. He missed. My man missed. Yet again. But hold on. Flaming Skull does 9 true damage. You have 9 HP. So I'm going to bet on you being killed. Already. I'm going to focus on you because I think my melee attacks can actually hit that tide. position. Not a big deal. That's what the armor's for. Um, and just smack him, dude. He's popping! You know. Could be worse. Deals 28 to 32 damage. I'm willing to ult. I have no words. Um. <laughs> He's done it! Ah, this Finally! Gets <laughs> Alright, my man needs some HP. But actually, that's what his ult does anyway, so... If we get to the level of Wrath... We can have him heal using his ult, although he only has 6 HP now, so... And we don't have quite enough 
Wrath. Send them. Definitely feel like this could have gone better, but hey. We got a token, a humanorium, humanarium token. Oh, it teaches us in it's like a monster manual. Okay. I understand. Um I'm thinking We don't have a lot of resources so far, I'm assuming. But I was thinking uh if we actually you start with a decent amount of resources. I was thinking we could just create another Death Knight. Although, to be honest, I feel like the skeleton is just better. I feel like it's like a... He's, you just want two of these guys instead of one Death Knight. But I might be using the Death Knight improperly. I want to make a second skeleton. Humans become much sturdier when you strip them of their vital organs. You are stripping them of their muscles as well, though. Oh, dude, and the mortuary starts being active, which is actually pretty much exactly what I was planning to do. Um, oh, this is just the Chamber of Arras, of course. Zombie doesn't seem to do well in the third position. That's true. There's no debating that. Um... Bombardment was okay, but then I'm like, okay, the skeleton, he has moves that move him forward. I, I think I'm going to try it like this. Maybe, maybe we can move it like that. Give it a shot. Sacrificial altar or fountain of restoration. I don't really want to sacrifice a minion. By the way, we did get a hatchet. Um... Maybe inventory with I? It's an artifact, even better. If minions are destroyed in battle, he receives maximum mana. Now I will make more. Enemies are ten percent more likely to escape. Well, Enemies can't be inspired. Previously. So far so good. I am thinking, like, what's the worst unit? Everybody knows what the worst unit is. You don't need me to tell you that. The worst unit is the Banshee. Phil Come dear. It's time for your performance. And then we'll just sacrifice her. <laughs> uh, oh well. Choose a battle squad. I'll take battle squad. Uh, I mean, I'll take battle squad one, but I want to sacrifice the Banshee. So, you know what? Yeah, that's that's the ticket. Just in case we fight, I would rather have the Banshee in the party, at least. Okay, it totally would have worked anyway, but whatever. Yo! We get all of them, or just one? All female enemies are 20% more likely to escape. Pepe hands in chat? Can I get some Pepe hands in chat, please? Make a stress squad? I'm just, I'm not at that level. I'm just not at that level yet, unfortunately. Perhaps one day. I do like the idea that, you know, one plus 1% 1 chance to instantly kill an enemy when doing stress damage is pretty interesting, but... Let's take the gold and rose. It'll be interesting. Potentially. Hopefully. Then we're going to open the Eratus again, and there you it go. embellishes my undead features. Okay. So I've read you're supposed to be around level 3 or 4 with all your minions before you fight the boss. Hopefully, uh, we'll be on a path that makes that conducive. Okay, we open. You have physical armor protection, otherwise you're just random enemies. Um, well, we should light one on fire. 
We have attacks that ignore physical armor, too. Oh, no, only with, uh... Oh, maybe this is with the skeleton, yeah. I'm going for broke. That's not physical armor. That's, uh... Actively blocks the attack. We have no... Uh, you know what? We should do this then. One of the attacks missed, so... So we're just gonna stick with the physical attacks. I don't want to use my move uh, to interrupt stances until we have a stance to interrupt. It's interesting. Zombie in position one with low accuracy. Loses all initiative. And can I get a second Pepe hands in chat, please? Is, that, is such a thing even possible? Magic attack. Deals 11 to 13 damage. Physical attack deals... Six damage to the chosen target and the two enemies behind him. It's good to clear off his buffer, at least. Ignition sets target on fire for two turns. So that's like a... That's a 20 damage attack. I think I like this. So hope, hopefully purge the buffer that the enemy has. I've been missing so much. Not really trying stress here. Keep, keep putting the damage out there. He's going to burn to death for sure. Not going to ult you. Just start sending you instead. Beautiful. Okay, and the zombie is in position one. He's like, dude, what do I do up here? I've never been in this position before. Um, you have 37 HP. 37 HP. I think I'm just going to hit you, but with what? I mean, igniting mixture seems... It's just better if the unit will not die on this turn. And they can actually burn, which is probably debatable for some enemies, or impossible to some enemies. Sense, you take how much true damage? Seven to eight. Good lord. They got a sanity heal. Alright. You take seven to eight, twenty-four. You need to get hit for seventeen. Eight and miss. Okay, that's not gonna do it. That's not quite gonna do it. Uh, skeleton goes next. Okay, I think we'll do it like this. Send them. Skeleton goes. Hit him with the, the two-piece. Thank God. I'm almost happier we missed because it looks like we made the right move. Now you go. I would like you to be lit on fire. As worthless as running into a little life, bit of trouble. Why does the zombie have a cannon? Because he's a demolitions expert. Duh. It's like you've never seen any George Romero movies. Zombies are always taking it upon themselves to plant plastic explosives. And so on and so forth. This is my kind of entertainment. All right. One enemy remaining. Please. Okay, I would just like to see you miss one time. If you just miss once, I would feel so much better about all the damage that I'm taking. So we're going to use our ult for once. Do not miss. Perish. I can live with that. He also took stress damage. Now you. You got 29 HP. Oh, you're done. You might not be done. That's my mistake. I forgot you had the... Have a warm end, my friend. I forgot you had the buffer. I should have actually stalled, maybe, until end of turn. 
So you got 18 HP, you're taking 9 true damage. We just need to hit once. He's done it. He's actually done it. My will is a mind that will wash away your pathetic civilization. Alright, but that's just basic. These are basic enemies. Ergo, I'm embarrassed that we're having such a hard time against basic enemies. One skeleton? Welcome. It's interesting, you know, the, the party stuff, it seems like we can switch them in and out really quickly. You know, obviously people are talking about the similarities that this has with the Darkest Dungeon, but there is a big difference. And that's that once you pick a party, you're more agile because you don't have them out on the mission for like 45 minutes. Or 10 minutes, depending on if it's easy. But in this, you really just have one battle, swap them in, swap them out. Makes the HP feel a little bit less precious right now. Because I'm like, oh, if, any, if a unit gets wounded early, doesn't matter. We can send him to the graveyard for now. Okay, Bride of Aratus. Better crits or crit stun? Because we're this is pretty much the only attack we're using right now. Why are we using mission? Oh, because you're in the... You're not in this slot. Hmm. I'm going to take uh, crit stun My for now. Enemies are in for a nice I think we should have one skeleton that's maybe focused on uh, tanking. Which would mean that... Uh... Oh, actually, dude. This still interrupts stances. In We can give up interrupt stances to get a stun. Which is kind of... I am sure it interrupts this... It interrupts the uh, the stance anyway, is my guess. But I was thinking we could make it so you have extra armor resistance, or strike back when attacked is also good. Okay, I'm gonna go for the stun. Now, prove and then for the zombie. Of my investment. Hmm. Just thinking. I don't care about stress damage at all. Oh, dude. It changes it so that it actually... It's like a good AoE attack. It hits all enemies. But this already hits three enemies. It just looks like it doesn't hit three enemies. This makes it ignore armor. This makes it do more damage and to everybody. I think I'd rather Serve ignore me well, armor. My minion. I should say, by the way, I'm going into the chat. I'm pasting my message. Hey chat, check out Erratus. It just came out today. Thanks to Daydalek for the sponsorship. And there's the link for you as well. It did just come out on Steam. It's in early access. Came out today, as mentioned. Thanks to Daydalek for the sponsorship. I'm allowed to link in my own chat. You can't tell me I'm not allowed to link in my own chat. So far, it seems very interesting. I like the Darkest Dungeon style. I'm... I'm actually surprised that this is really like the... I mean, I've seen other Darkest Dungeon uh, inspired games. There's one that slips my mind right now. It is called Deep Space Rejects. But this one definitely puts its own twist on the formula. Also, my zombie has 20 IQ. I think Deep Sky Derelicts, that's it. I think we should level up our Dark Knight because he's underleveled. And then give him a better ability. Um I would really just like him to do more damage, honestly. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. All right, let's do it again. I hope we can make it to the boss. It's a pretty decent distance away. This is like a it's a long floor, but we shall see. Choose who will be trained: Eratus or minions. I will take minions always, which is probably not the most nuanced approach. And then the Bride of Eratus. Hold on, we could get an upgrade for luck. 
Or you already have the upgrade passively just from being level 3. You can equip items on your uh, minions as well. That's my bad. That's my bad. Plus one ward. So avoiding stress. I don't know who should have that yet. Plus five evasion. Um, probably one of our units. Maybe the skeleton should take that because they're up at the front all the time. They're, they're, they're constantly goading people to attack them. Um, plus three dread. So better stress attack. Striking a critical hit. 1% chance to kill an enemy when dealing stress damage. Plus two initiative means you act faster. Um, I don't really know where to put this, but I'll put it on you. And then, plus one ward. Protection from stress damage. Wait, I think I put the, I put the wrong thing on you. My mistake. My mistake. It cannot be removed. It's the it's the best zombie ever made. It's just the best zombie ever made. So that's my bad. Um, but he's super tanky and awesome now, so I'm not really sweating it, to be honest. They also could have leveled up more, but I got distracted. And whose fault is that? It's mine, in case you were wondering. Okay, you have buffs. Probably focus on Hunky first. End, my friend. And then... Well, you know my game plan. Shoot him. And if it crits, you will be stunned. Now you. Bony Bully. Stuns target for one turn. Yes. I would very much like to stun you for a turn. Of course. The buffer. I'm a fool. Zombie. You're not really in a great position here at the back, to be honest, so we're just going to have you toss out a bombardment. You can't hurt me. I'm at the back line. It's not possible. Your weapon doesn't have that kind of range. My lord. It's not going so hot. Um, I think we're just going to try to send this guy into the Shadow Realm. You should be killable. Hold on. 11 to 14 damage. You're taking 9 true damage. 18. You have 32 HP. 18 to 22 damage. You're taking, a, you're taking 9 true damage. So you're on 23 HP. I would have to crit you. Skeleton goes next. I think we just focus you, unfortunately. Ooh, this Lucky me. Voided its bowels just as it died. This guy is escaping, though, which is fantastic news as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's light one of these sons of guns on fire. Have a warm end, my friend. And then you're in position two. I don't really want him to be hit more often. It's un unadvisable. Maybe we should just go for the double stack. And we actually hit two, which is the first time that's ever happened in our entire history. Skip turn. Excuse me? Did you maybe you got stunned? I was unaware. Um This is an issue. This guy's an issue right now. Uh, please escape and run away forever. Extreme wipe danger. Excuse me. You have a camera installed inside my bathroom? Extreme wipe danger? You're taking nine damage. 25. I'm sorry, it's a bad joke. We get to attack twice, we're gonna attack twice. You only need to be hit for 7, but I'm just gonna send you. I don't want to use my ults, which is our only AoE, in order to 
purge this guy's uh, buffer. Now you, I don't know, uh, it's definitely not worth... I got an idea. We buff this turn. And then we hit him with the, the zombie ult next turn, which should be enough to kill him as long as we get rid of his buff. Oh no. I'm a freaking death knight. I got hit by a little pickaxe. Big freaking whoop. Okay. Mr. Skeletal. Man, I'd really like you to stun this guy so he doesn't get to act again. But that's cool. That's cool, dude. I hate that the zombie goes last, but... You might just be able to crit. It was a good attempt in many ways. That's fine. We just build another one. And all the resources we invested in him, it's, it's fine. I thought when we whiffed on the ults, it couldn't get any worse. It got worse. When we took two turns to set it up. <laughs> and he died, or he missed, I should say. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We got a, we got a cool skeleton back anyway. In fact, I would say not a cool skeleton, a cooler skeleton. He is only level one though. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, okay. Here's my game plan. Here's my game plan. Okay. First off, you. Really haven't been... I'm basically only using this attack entirely, but... Maybe we should use our buff. Plus four attack and plus four dread, plus six attack. Yeah. Get back to battle. Let's go to plus six attack. Then the Dark Knight. We could start you at the back. I yeah, check this out, dude. Results. Check this out. Check this out. What can you use from the front line? Beautiful. Sets targets on fire for two turns. Smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. Oh, it turns it into an AoE. Well, a two-person AoE. All right. All right. Get ready. This is going to work. Now, I'm not healing the zombie. Because, like, I probably should. But... Probably should. Ah, where's the fun in that? Let's, uh... Let's use the brain to get our skeleton up to a, a conceivable level. Never mind, we're out of brains. That's a problem. That's a real issue. How are you doing uh, over here in the alchemy department? Can I make a brain? I can make a flash. I can make equipment. Not a brain. Cannot make a brain. Okay. Um, how you doing? You still have a... Do you have one point? Do you have a talent point ready to go here? I'm trying to work my way up the tech tree here. Cost two talent points. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> Didn't realize. Didn't realize. Well, this will be a big risk. If it fails... It fails. If it doesn't... Oh, we can heal our minions anyway! All your minions recover. What was I freaking out about? Yo, elite squad! They've got gold and weapons. This is the formation I want, believe it or not. Very rude. Very rude with the bear trap. Okay. 
Why do I want this? Get ready. We want physical damage done to y'all. Beautiful. Took care of one of your buffers at least. Then the bride. Light an enemy on fire. You're not going to be in this position forever. Now the zombie. Beautiful. Now you get to do something. Doesn't matter. Okay, it turns out it matters a great deal. You've been stunned for a turn. That's pretty bad. Doesn't matter. He healed up. Now this is the move. Physical attack deals 100% to the chosen target and the enemy standing behind it. We only miss the, like, really, really important ones. That seems to be the case. <laughs> of life. Well, uh, that one wasn't that important and we missed it, so disregard. Oh. Okay, lots of Taskmaster buffing. No big deal. Skip turn. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Skip turn. Yeah. None of you have stances, so I'm just going to... Well, you know what? Hit you with a bone Be spear. This wretch. And then hit you with a double smite. It will not kill you. Actually, it might because of the... It will because of the fire. Then you go. And you can remove... Oh, you can do additional damage, but only stress damage to an enemy that has debuffs. You do have a debuff, like fiery explosion, but... I think we will be better off just smacking you. Do Skeleton Bros candles exclude him from the Bald Brotherhood? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. I submit as Exhibit A that he is a bald man. Uh, the fact that the same headwear he wears is also on his shoulders, indicating that it is not attempt to uh, replicate a follicular advantage, but is instead an accessory, not on like a hat, um, or perhaps a, a visor of some sort, or a headband. It's a fashion statement, sweetheart, look it up. So I consider that he is bald, but while alive, he might not have been bald, in which case I don't want to give him too much credit. 28 to 32 damage. Where's armor? What's your blessing? Oh, Taskmaster, of course. I would like to set you on fire, please. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> Put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Please stop attacking my zombie! I just leveled him up! Well, thank God I healed him either way. Inflicts a guaranteed crit. Kill, my darling, kill. Acceptable. Only four true damage? And you're at 34? I, I can't kill you. I'm a little surprised. If it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. Sorry, I forgot to use spells as well. I wanted to give them a chance. Oh, he's not having a good day. Um, let's do this. this wretch. Get as much AoE out there as possible. Nice shot, sweetie. I don't really want to use our. Uh, stance, to be honest. I just want to smack him. Stop. Stop. No more. I gotta look at their actual... What's their stress? Their stress is high, too. So stress or physical. They're both tough. 
Thank God we have a unit kill. that actually does damage. We go next. Yep, time to head back to the grave. <laughs> 22. Not possible. We'll try, though. You gotta send him. I would say your skeleton is probably dead, but he's also level one. Yep, time to head back to the grave. This time I'm trying to... 9 damage per turn, or 12 to 16 physical damage. This time I think I just want to set you on fire. My friend. So we can save mana for our next fight, hopefully. All three of us get to go before he gets to go. So I think we should get it. Probably could have used our ult there to heal up a little bit, but... Mine is the winner. Big whoop, just lost a level 3 zombie. It's no big deal. It's kind of a big deal. Okay, Skeleton, you're going to become a tank for us now. And you're going to become a tank that hits back at the enemies. Serve me well, my minion. And then, we do have a level 2 brain. So, I don't know. Do we want to... Dude, honestly, I still think we want almost exclusively more skeletons. Bones, bones, bones. Bones, so bones, bones. Inspired, you know. And then let me see where we're going. Quest. Quest, battle, heal. Consider making armor equipment. Hold on a moment. You don't need fortitude. I want you to have a stun. I expect results. Um... You have a talent point as well. Please tell me you have some form of a heal. Some form of healing your units. I'm going to save up for more fire. I think that will benefit us. Okay. Skeleton, here's the thing. Uh, we're just going to make... Uh, we're going to make basically like a unit just to exist for now. Make another zombie. Go ahead. Time to bring out the beast. You go in position two. You're just filling space. Then we go to the graveyard. You go in here. We need you to heal up. Um, all enemies lose 15 accuracy until the end of combat. Decreases critical. Okay, let's let's take their accuracy away. That's a one-time use, I think. Otherwise, that's uh, extremely great, I think. And then in alchemy, crafting. Good armor. Plus two armor. Hold on. You... What did I give you? You're a stun. I think... Do you have any... You have no equipment? I'm gonna make something that gives our Dark Knight more armor for now. I think I'm starting to get it. There's a lot of mechanics on display, but I think I'm starting to get it. Plus one block and a random perk. Like, what do you need? You need two... Blood. Block is really good because it blocks one attack fully. It's no goal, but it will do. And it has a random perk. Plus three attack for two turns if you're on low HP. Which you, like, kind of already are. Okay. Quest. Your minions stumble upon a field of mushrooms littered with human bones. You can't recall ever having seen this particular variety, but you can already tell that it produces a powerful poison. While your minions are quickly gathering any usable remains for your stockpiles, you wonder what would be the best use for this discovery. I love to roll the dice, dude. I love to roll the dice. Study them. 
Ah, I can use this. He's done it. Four bones, 60 mana. To be honest, I think I would have preferred the... Uh, I would have preferred the enemies be or our minions being stronger, but... I'm happy just knowing we succeeded either way. Alright. Uh, send them. This wretch. And... How much HP do you have? Oh, you have a ton of block, I see. Skeleton. You are a stun skeleton. But you can't stun from that position right now. Let's have you be the tank no matter what. Excuse me, you're supposed to attack the tank? Got him. Now you, you're in a terrible spot. I think your first step for sure is light everybody on fire. And by everybody, I mean the front guy. I actually thought that was an AoE attack. Completely my bad. Physical attack. We're going to take out the basic minions first, hopefully. An attempt was made. I think this is it, boys. Uh, nah, 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 nah. You know why? You know why? Because you're ultim. Impale this wretch. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hold on. Okay, we have to kill you before you can go. He's a level one zombie with 10 IQ. Like, cut him some freaking slack, okay? Okay, you're in a stance. We should be able to use our other ability now. Oh, thank God. Okay, Death Knight first. You have a buff, which is... That's not a buff, that's... Isn't that... Is that not a stance? Either way. A buff first. That's a stance. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to try to send you. it be a really good time for some crits. Skeleton moves. We cannot use our shield attack. That's my bad. I'm going to hopefully take the heat myself. And do the zombie. You're just like... You're killing me here. The archer cannot die. They have to live. I know it's like... We wretch. don't really have much choice, but like... This would be an extremely great time... To kill. Thank you. That was the minimum amount of damage that could actually do it, I think. Now you have 92 HP, you have 55. I think we'll continue to focus on you. No! My hordes are without number. She's, she was my highest level unit. How dare you. That's, that's a real issue. He's actually missed, like, this wretch. all ults but one, I think. I think he's missed three of four or four or five. <laughs> I need to, you know, it's easy to just be like, now, dude, I wish it hit. I really wish that one hit. This ignores armor, so now it's a bad But what we should really do is remember that level one zombies apparently are garbage at hitting and maybe endeavor... To craft some kind of accuracy increasing uh, weapon. Have a warm end, my friend. Or uh, equipment, I should say. He's really good at intimidating the enemies. I don't think there's a single doubt about that. He is tanky, though. 
This is the one. <laughs> I'm begging you. I'm begging you, zombie. Have a warm end, my friend. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Mop up the gore. I hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. Thank God we had uh, face a warm end, my friend. Otherwise, we would be in a nightmare zone. Speaking of which, 30 physical damage, but an extra 50% if they're on fire. That sounds excellent. Zombies receive plus 15% accuracy. Now we're talking, dude. Okay, so you're back. You should go in. The Death Knight is ready. Dude, the Death Knight needs HP too. There is a, oh that's right, there is a healing fan fountain coming up. In fact, wait a minute, is it next? It is next. Disregard what I was gonna do then. Bring the zombie back. And by zombie, I mean skeleton. It's just a big stress attack. Yeah, let's go for My big stress. Even though we're not really doing much with it right now. Surprise. Um... I am surprised we're at least still alive. There's no way we're making it all the way to the boss, though. I thought maybe there was a chance, but it's a long trip. Okay. Standard skeleton. Stand steady when seeking to serve. That's a terrible start. Okay, lots of uh, blocking happening here, so AoE is really nice. Um, so, I think we start here. Impale this wreck. In the hopes, which actually worked, of getting rid of your block. And then, we can interrupt a stance. That won't be necessary. We will just smack. You have zero armor. You have eight armor. We will smack swordsman. <laughs> Swordsman will be our focus. Doable. Your basic skeleton. No offense. I still think you should be the tank. Okay? Acceptable. <laughs> Dare we? Dare we use the cannonball? No, that's Peter Baelish, dude. It misses every time. It's just it's just there to suck my uh, my ult juice. Thank God. Okay, interrupt stances. Uh oh. We are going to get a hit, though. So I think we want to light you on fire. Have a warm end, my friend. We're still going to interrupt this stance. It did lead to us getting hit. I'm marked. Take extra damage. Every attack is a critical hit? Nah, 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 nah. Remove all debuffs from the Dark Knight. I don't play that game. Yeah, the AI is taking my abilities, and I don't approve. Somebody's got to hit him. Zombie, it's your time to shine, brother. Not great. That could be worse. We absorbed it. 
one good miss? Okay, this guy, you need to be on fire. Have a warm end, my Now that you're friend. on fire, we can do some serious damage to you. But first... It honestly could be worse. Nine true damage, you have 16 HP. We should just probably smack you. But we get to go with the zombie before you, so I think I'm actually gonna smack somebody else. This will cause us to get hit, but life goes on, probably. Well, that, that honestly could not have gone worse. I'll take it. Oh my god. So he actually landed, but he landed the shots against uh, an enemy that was gonna die to DOT anyway. I'm not mad. I'm just saying he did hit the shot when it didn't matter at all. Okay, so we're gonna ignite. Have a warm end, my friend. 10 IQ plays, exactly. Precisely. By the way, have a warm end, my friend. Um, I don't care if you restore a little HP up. Interrupt stances. No, stuns targets. Stuns targets. Stuns targets. It actually worked. I didn't think it could happen. Interrupt stances, interrupt stances, whatever. I don't really care about that part, but like... Okay, actually, we don't need to do that. Let's just do that. One damage times two, excuse me. I'm immune to your blessings, sir. He has eight armor. Thank you. Thank you for enlightening me. I had actually forgotten. We need some mana back, actually. Because you're on fire. Yes. He's dead to DOT. Honestly, might as well try to get rid of it. Oh, you have stress uh, blocks, not physical blocks, of course. You're down with DOT. I am down with DOT. I'm not down with OP. Either the song or the Ontario Provincial Police. I'm not in their jurisdiction anymore. The old man is mouth. <laughs> He's just mouth pointing. And accusing people of throwing uh, leaves off their balcony. I don't have a gripe with the song OPP. I think the song is very good. I'm just saying the message is perfect. It's perfect. Kate and Mouth just accidentally engaged in the, the greatest emo dance. Okay, here we go. Heal me. All enemies lose 12. We recover all that they lose. You're absolutely right. Stance, the end is coming. Deals 100% magical damage to all other characters. Oh god. Please. <laughs> He's got 15 HP. Please just kill him. Or inter interrupt his stance. That'll work. This is my kind of entertainment. Now you. Oh, dude, we get to do this attack. The attack that actually does damage when it hits. Don't lose the skeleton, dude. I'm low. The zombie is like actually useless. We might as well get the buff at least. Okay, we gotta kill him. He's gotta go. 
He's got 8 armor, 49 HP. We've got to ignore his armor. Alright, that's good damage. Um, we can take 12 HP. We're going to hit him for very little. Honestly, we might as well ult, even though we don't need to. Because no, this stress ult, stress ult, can't use ult in final position. It worked. My god, it worked. Do you know what you have to do? Attempt the cannonball once more? None of these attacks are very good here. We could at least hit for a little. Can't move. Can move. I really want the zombie to get the kill. He's done. Beautiful. We lived! Soon this world will be mine. Bundle of dynamite insurance deal. Oh my god, I can't believe we made it. Now you get to level up. You have the... Okay, you're the buff lord. Um, ignores armor and ignores block. Honestly, now, I think I'd rather have dozen miss. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. 11 mana. Hold on. Where are we going from here? Grave. Dormant minions awaiting their time. Then a battle. Which means we really should heal. I think we should also craft a unit. We're going to play a little bit more. Um... I think, honestly, we could really use a Bride of Erratus. Oh, honey, you are so wonderfully rotten. Now, Skeleton, go heal up. What do we need here? We put a Wraith in here, we can heal two people between battles. I will consider making a wraith, which I have not used at all. An unassuming creation. Perhaps the warnings were just superstitions. Seems very sensible to me, to what we've done here. Now, I don't trust the zombie at all, but... What, what move do we actually like with you? <laughs> Especially, like, something from the back would be good. So I guess Bombardment is probably our best option. This attack does not consume an action. Okay. Deals 60% damage versus 50, or... Each attack is 50% magical damage? What's your magical stat? I don't know why we would rather have magical than physical. I'm just gonna buff it. Then... There you go. You go back... We got two skeletons being healed. In my opinion, that means we should create another unit. <laughs> and, dude, I don't know. I'm just going to create another skeleton because he's my son and I love him. I know how to use him. To some extent, at least. And then, Bride of Erratus, I want you to stick around. So I'm putting a level 3 brain inside of you. And then, you're going to be operating largely from the back position. Um... I'm gonna make your crits stronger. Get back to battle. And I'm gonna make your. Make your buff stronger. And also, actually, I'm gonna make it give Erratus mana. That way he actually can function. Then finally. Not artifacts, although we could. All enemies lose 20 to 30 vigor at the start of battle. That seems very good. Why not? Give Erratus a shirt? Absolutely not. Features, no? Um, hold on, I want to do alchemy and I want to make something that maybe can improve accuracy. Please, God. Plus 8 accuracy and a random perk. 
I will spend whatever needs to be spent. A uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. And then you, my friend, desperately require that. Dude, this is actually really cool. Um, a little overwhelming with mechanics at first, but once you get it, you get into the loop. I totally understand what's happening here. More than I did at the start, at the very least. I'm starting to understand. Okay, start with the grave. Dormant minions. Choose a minion to raise. You know, let's get a wraith. We've never had one. Except that one we uh, immediately yeeted. Abandon the battle. You will lose the current squad. Death has been denied. That's fine. For now. That's okay. Easy, easy come, easy go. Lost my dynamite, too. Oh, never mind. It's the same battle. I see. They're still hanging out there because we didn't kill them. Well, let's do some A. Repair this wretch. You gain nothing. Yeah, you you experienced a hollow victory. You learn nothing. Got him. Got him. Got him. Annoyance in the world. Miss. Uh. Told you. Easy miss. Yikes. I think you should go for this guy. I like that. Get rid of the buffer. No ult is required. Toss me a bombardment. Send either of them. Beautiful. I'm not ulting. He, he, the ult is not warranted right now. I thought we got to go with the skeleton before you. I think maybe they, they rolled for initiative after each turn and they shuffled a little? It was... I don't know what happened there. I'm upset though. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Okay. Now... We might as well get rid of your debuff. Your, your buffer, I should say. Um... Lighting you on fire just spends mana for basically no reason right now. Um, you know, I will Ultra. Ultra, wish your seer was hot like me. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm not gonna make him warm because it it will just cost mana to get rid of his uh, ward. Not a great idea. He got crit through uh, his block. Oh, That's know, incredible. We are a god. World ahead of schedule. Both skeletons are healed up. Honestly, I do think we want to pull the zombie out. We can. We might as well heal him. Level three, level two. So you're saying there's a chance. It also moves a lot faster once you start to figure out what you're actually looking for. Costs four talent points? Have you lost your mind? Just to buff zombies? Might be worth it. But I think AoE Firestorm is beautiful. Yeah, if your minion dies, it seems like you lose them forever. Unless there's some kind of uh, like resurrection uh, node that you could go to on the map. Oh, loot box. Unlocks a secret iron spell. Devour magic. It removes all the buffs from the chosen minion. Restores six mana for each buff removed. A dark I'll take the hook. Just for, just for entertainment's sake. All right. I think we'll do this battle. Sacrificial altar. Maybe one other battle. And we'll see how, how she goes. 
What are you? Mad Mage. That's Doctor Strange. You can't fool me. You have eight armor. You have eight armor. You have zero armor. All right. Well, that makes the decision pretty simple. I'm going to light you on fire. Have a warm end, my friend. Do you have some kind of magical resistance I was not aware of? I can live with that. We go again. Stuns target for one turn. Uh, gold coats? Be gone. Interrupt stances. That won't be necessary. Actually, it will be necessary. Because I want you to send Magician up to the front so I can hit him more easily. And then he immediately moved back. That's fine, though. Maybe he used the worst attack to move back. Skip turn because you were stunned. That's a nasty AoE attack. The end is coming. Deals 100% magical damage to all other characters, including his own team, I suppose. But you gotta go. That crit was huge. Um, hold on. You're taking nine true damage. I think I do have to try to take you out. You need to take 15 damage. It'll work. Brat. And, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. You know what? Let's go for the buff. Let's help out our boy Aratus. But first, I'm like... I think I'd like to light one of you on fire as well. Perhaps elite guard. Have a warm end, my friend. Have a warm end. By the way. Ooh! It's the first time we've used that. Yo, that was nasty. Stop trying to bless my skeletons, dude. It's not cool. I've told you many times. We don't have enough mana for this yet. We will have enough mana. In a bit. 66, 75. Yeah. We're just gonna hit you. Does this ignore armor? Definitely not. You have eight armor. That's like a lot, dude. Twelve damage, I can live with it. Okay, so here's the thing. How much does it cost twenty-two? It's terrible. I think we're just gonna smack you. We're just gonna ult you. I thought about gaining mana, but I... Okay, skellies go first. Okay, ignore their armor. Decent attack. Good job. Stun this guy. I don't like it. He's got a Gul'dan spear. I'm immune to your blessing. I've already committed my soul to the Dark Lord Erratus. I'm going to ult you. Which is actually ulting everybody. I've now remembered. You have 13 HP. Does 12 to 16 physical damage. Hold up. Being born was your first mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> your last. Ooh. I like the laugh. <laughs> yep, time to head back to the grave. But did he get stunned? He did not get stunned. Oh, come on with your end is coming. Hullabaloo. I'm over it. He goes so fast now. Don't bless me. Thirty HP. Send him. It's a sendable. 
I would really like to stun you, honestly. That makes perfect sense, now that I think about it. Anyway, you should be dead, but if I ult, I can also take out a block. Oh, and crits ignore armor. Or maybe all attacks ignore? No, I think just crits ignore. Not armor, but block. That's my mistake. Nice shot, sweetie. I don't like how he says sweetie, you know? She's her own woman. I think you should respect that. It's a bad time for a miss. It is his wife. Well, you know, I'm not going to tell him how to live their relationship. All I'm going to say is that my man's creating new wives out of flesh every... Uh, Every second node on the map he goes to. No levels up. That's fine. Um, hold on. Look at the map. Where are we going? Sacrificial altar. Okay. I think we should make some garbage. We have a lot of ectoplasm... So I'm gonna make a wraith. Useful if you can put up with their constant whining. Very fair, but not privy to the situation, or not uh, necessarily important relative to the situation at hand. I would really like all of you to heal up. Actually, let's heal you. And then something a little bit like this. We're going to send squad one. When we arrive, we will be yeeting the Banshee and grabbing I like evasion. Who doesn't like a good evade? You know what I mean? Was not worth that bait. Put that on him. I have time for one more battle. And I say we have time for one more battle because I'm pretty sure we're going to get... Oh, we get to keep all from that? Yo! I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to get absolutely destroyed. We'll give it a try. Uh, you're a golem, dude. Redirect to self, 50% chance. 15 physical armor. Bad accuracy. Immune to stress and ignition. Doesn't escape. 50% chance to redirect an attack or debuff to the golem from an ally located behind it. Okay. What I what I'm learning from that is we focus this this dude down first. Have a warm end, my and friend. Ideally, I would like for him to have a warm end. We go next. Ignore his arm. Send. Now you move forward. I don't really care about the golem right now. It would have been nice to hit him, but it is what it is. This will do, like, no damage to the golem at all. We might have wanted to go for the 100% buff, but even the 100% buff might not have helped. This is a nasty crit. Good miss. No damage. Buffed himself. All right, Mr. Skeleton. How about you ignore physical damage? How about you... That's not a stance, unfortunately.
How about you light this guy on fire? Have a warm end, my I, Sorry, friend. what I mean is, how about you have a warm end, my friend? And then... This won't even... This won't do anything to him. 8 to 10, or 2 times 8 to 10. Hit you with the 2 times... Okay! Alright, we got a crit. And one extra damage. This is where you want more powder. Send them. Outrageous. 12 HP. This does 11 to 13, but he has 8 physical armor. Unacceptable. So close to being able to use our AoE, but... One by one, live with that. life vanishes from this world. I can live with that, too. Big miss. He does only have 45% accuracy, so... Love to see it. Okay. Skeletons... Doing their part. How on earth are we gonna kill these guys? They have 19 physical armor. And they don't run. I actually have no idea. Well, this would just kill us, so I wouldn't recommend that. Oh, that's true! Skeleton attack ignores armor. All we need to do is hit him 17 times. This is huge. Direct HP removal. It's not that much, but it's, it's worth something. Honestly, I'm just stacking up, dude. I'm just stacking up. I mean, I, I do want you to move forward, but I also want my other zombie to be up there. Right now, you're just doing nothing, so we might as well at least do something. Maybe. That is true. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exuberance be considered a virtue. I've oftentimes thought that myself. Now I want you to move up. Did stun. Now we have ignore physical armor. I don't think we want to move you up. We need our skeletons up at the front so they can actually do physical damage ignoring attacks. Plus 100% to the damage. I'm stacking them, dude. Make room for big boom. Big miss. Don't care about a buff, doesn't bother me. Sense. Send. It's gonna be hard, dude. You know what? Let's do it. It's time for bombardment. Love to see it. Don't love to see it. Oh, very much hate to see it. You entertained me. It all went wrong so fast. Yo, the zombie actually accomplished it. I'm stunned. All right, it turns out the ult hit but didn't do that much damage. Life goes on. I think we might live. I think we might live. Oh, he's hot. Have a warm end, my friend. That's the thing friend. about ends. They're warm and you're having them. This one voided its bowels just as it died. That he's buffed, so he has 105% accuracy now. 
He's at the zombie redemption, dude. As your suffering ends. <laughs> oh, man. Lucky us. Well, then he's going to do it for Aratus. Lord of the Dead. I had a really good time playing, though. Mechanics-driven, complicated game. But once you start teasing those elements apart, you got elements of Darkest Dungeon, you got some crafting elements thrown in there. It's almost a little bit like a, a deck builder as well. Here is your... Boilerplate text in chat. Go check it out. Just came out on Steam. It was a warm end to the stream. I do want to say thank you to Date Alec for the sponsorship. The game's really cool. It's always nice to have an extra little opportunity to check out stuff like this. You guys should go check it out as well uh, yourselves if you like what you saw. It was a really good time. I know Bear was playing it earlier today. Cobalt's been playing it. Apparently Cry was playing it simultaneously with us, but I don't know how somebody could have popped in a chat and tell us that, because obviously you were watching my stream, right? Of course, obviously. So you can go to bit.ly slash erratus dash northern lion. If you want to check it out at my tracking link, you can also just check it out on Steam. I-R-A-T-U-S erratus. Not erratus. Iratus. I-R-A-T-U-S. Thanks for watching. It was a long stream today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time. Uh, 2 p.m. PT for a Thursday stream. Kate, uh, I don't know if we're playing Stardew Valley or potentially Wolfenstein Youngblood's co-op campaign tomorrow. I leave that up to her, but... Both of those are are interesting for sure. For now, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a good show today. Good NLSS. Erratus was a lot of fun. I will send you over to Justin. He's playing some Gary's mod. And it's not just because he gives me the best Pokemon Go gifts, okay? All right. It's mostly because of that. Either way, though, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya.